Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for the love on my last video. The uh, gelly and makeup one bay look. Um, you guys seem to really like it. So thank you so much for your love and for your comments and for the likes. Um, I guess you guys seem to like this, the, you know, the whole uh, watch me transform. Um, because the one I did before that as well, you guys seem to really like that one and the one I did as well. So I'll be doing more of that. So if you want to see more watch me, if you want to see more watch me transform videos, then please let me know. I'm thinking about doing that every week, doing one every week. Today, I actually wanted to do something a bit different. You know, we're doing a lot of, you know, nudes and neutrals and that kind of thing. So I want to definitely, you know, put a bit of colour into it right now, into, um, my tutorials a little bit of color yeah enough of me chatting let's get right into it and also by the way if you're new here welcome this is christiana's closet my name is christiana welcome to my channel if you like what you see and you're liking my videos then make sure you hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button and to my uh old followers and old subscribers hey how you doing thank you so much for tuning in again um but yeah let's get into this makeup look Okay, so obviously as per usual, my brows are done already to save time. I do have a full brow tutorial um, updated. Um, so I will definitely link that in the description bar below. I'm going to prime my eyes uh, now to get ready for eyeshadow. And I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. And then I set with the Sasha Buttercup. So I'm just gonna quickly do that now. Okay, great. So eyes, uh, eyelids are primed, nice and primed with um, concealer and powder okay so first of all I'm going to go into my mini masquerade palette um, by Juvia's Place I really like the shade in here um, called Ada this one here oh where is it uh, yeah this one here sorry it's a nice um, brownie orangey shade um, so I'm just going to start off with that and just use that as a transition shade I really really like you know using this as my transition these days so we'll start off with that and then we'll just try and start building that color. When you touch in the product, start on the outside and bring that color in like so. Okay, so I'm going into my um, Morphe 35 Oil palette and I'm going to take, well, I think I'll mix these two oranges together and just go underneath as well. And just try and build up a bit more orangey colour. And I'm just taking that first brush and I'm just kind of blending those colours out. Just going back and forth with the two brushes. And I'm just blending. Okay, so we're getting a nice orange, orangey shade there. So now I'm going to go to my 35B uh, B palette, and I'm going to take this orange up here and just add that in as well. And see if we can get something a bit brighter. Again, just blending those colors in so that's what we've got so far so now um, in the same 35 um, B palette I'm going to take this red matte this matte red shade here and I'm going to use that on my lid oh, it's not really coming off as intense as I want it to come off so I think Maybe I might use a base first and let's see if that helps. So let's do a base first and let's see if that will make the colour a bit more intense. I'm not doing like a I'm not doing a cut crease or anything like that. 
Oh, yeah, that definitely made a difference. Okay. I'm just trying to bring that colour up as well, just to, because it kind of needs to transition into each other. So, oh, I'm using the 24 hour colour tattoo eyeshadow, the uh, Maybelline, yeah. So just trying to blend that colour up. So the base definitely worked. I'm just taking gonna take the orange again and just go over that again. So you definitely wanna see that transition. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my 35U palette and I'm gonna take this color here and just apply that on top it is a similar color to that one um, but this is a shimmer shade eyes are basically done um, so I'm just gonna apply some mascara this is the uh, L'Oreal telescopic uh, mascara in extra black or carbon black I think some of the packaging says I'm going to be applying these lashes here um, I'm reusing these they're from Primark um, guys don't sleep on Primark they are really stepping up their makeup game and you know lashes and all that so this is um, their like glam collection so they're like so they're five pound um, but they're really 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 nice like glam lashes so i'm going to be uh using this this is in the style um milan um and they have like other styles as well so i'm going to apply these okay so eyes are done hey guys so i just went ahead and um did my foundation and highlight and i've just set that with um sasha buttercup setting powder so just the usual routine i just start off camera just because just to save time so i'm going to go ahead and line my waterline now and i'm going to be using this um pencil um in it's from primark and it's called ivory um so it's not completely white but it's like a creamy color and i'm just going to apply that into my waterline wow the way that just broke off like My eyes are so sensitive. It's morning right now. My eyes are always so like puffy and sensitive in the morning. I'm gonna let my eyes just rest for a bit. I'll probably add a bit more later, but I'm gonna let that rest. So I'm just gonna take that um, red eyeshadow from the 35B palette, and I'm just going to apply that under my waterline. Okay, and then I'm going to take um, the orange color that I use as well and I'm just going to apply that underneath and blend that out. Just dust off that excess powder as well from under my eyes. And just start to blend it all in. I'm going to use my Black Up Two Way Cake Powder. My NYX um, Highlight Pro um, Highlight and Contour Pro Singles, and this is their darker shade Hollow.
Just using some Sasha just to cut my cheekbones a little. Going to apply some blush and what blush I'm gonna use? This sleek blush in flushed, and I'm gonna apply that. Now I'm just going to apply um, the telescopic mascara to my bottom lashes. So, yeah, face is done. So I'm just going to set that with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray. So for the lips, it's definitely going to be a nude lip for sure. The eyes are pretty bright anyway, so you definitely want to do a nude lip uh, for this. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with um, the uh, NYX lip liner um, in Urban Cafe. Liquid lipstick by uh, Sleek, yeah, they're matte me lipstick in apricot blooms, so it's quite a bright, kind of peachy nude. So I'm gonna see if that works. So I'm gonna see if I can try and blend this out to look alright from my skin tone. This kind of a color doesn't usually work. You kind of have to really blend it. I'm just going to take the lip liner and just blend the corners. But I think that looks fine. Put a bit more to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that actually worked out nicely. Okay, cool. For my glow, I'm going to use my uh, The Balm Mary Luminizer. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, should I put some? Nah. Mm, okay, I could do that maybe a little. Okay, I'll put a little bit in my inner corner. Just a little. I'm not going crazy at all. Just a little. Something, something. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's enough. Okay, so I think we have reached the end of the tutorial. Yay! Hey guys, I am back. This is the finished look. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it. I like the eyes and I like the lips. And I just like how easy the eyeshadow was because that's just what I'm about. Um, this hair, by the way, that I'm wearing, um, because in case some of you ask, I want to know where it's from. This is from Miss Hair Hair Company from on AliExpress. This is a frontal so you can see here blends really nicely they actually sent me my first ever frontal a while ago um so when they asked me if i wanted you know to try some new hair i was like yeah of course definitely because i trust them and i trust the company and i was like you know what let me try frontal because they sent me a frontal before and i liked it i made this wig myself it's a wig um but i i got it you know cut um at a salon because i can make wigs but i'm not good at cutting hair or cutting you know bobs so it got cut at a salon um the hair is very very good quality it's absolutely beautiful soft um it feels light as well which i like doesn't feel too heavy um and you can see it's full so i ordered 12 inches so i ordered three bundles of 12 inches straight hair straight hair um straight brazilian hair um and the frontal was also 12 inches because i knew i was going to get it cut so i just 
ordered everything 12 inches because it wasn't going to matter once everything got chopped anyway. Shedding, very minimal, very minimal shedding. To definitely do a lot of work, a lot of tweezer work, plucking, 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 plucking to get the, um, you know, the front parts to get it thin because my hairline is thin and you know that thick frontal look is not cute yeah that's the case for like any frontal you would get from any company you would have to do some plucking and do some you know customization um whether that's you or if you someone is making the wig whoever you would have to do some customization there's definitely so many videos on how to like you know customize your frontal and all that so i don't feel like i need to do a video on that really and i'm not a hair guru i'm just trying like you i just watch videos and i try my best <laughs> i'm very happy with it and i definitely would recommend the company because this is my second time using them especially for frontals i would recommend them you know if you want to use them um but yeah what do you guys think of the short hair on me how do you guys think it looks yeah i'm liking I, I like to switch up my look every now and then that is pretty much it i really hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial and if you did please make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you never miss videos from me Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on my next one. Bye.